Here is the TDA7294. We'll be doing a test on this to check its performance and output power. 100 watt uh, DMOS audio amplifier. We'll be evaluating this amp. Here's the chip, TDA7294 chip. I will not be wiring the usual way with the PC board. Rather, I'm going to be uh, mounting the components directly to the pins. We don't need pin 5, 11, and 12 so I'll remove those pins on my chip. On the chip I'm going to be modifying, we'll get it prepared to mount the components on it. So it'll look something like this. So here's how the chip is to be prepared uh, ahead of time. Connect 1 and 4 and 15 and 8 and then 13 and 7. And I've done that right here, as you can see. Okay. Here's a close-up view of it. It's a little better view of how I've wired it there. I've also removed the unwanted, un unused pins like uh, pin 5 and 12 and 11 and now that pretty much simplifies everything. And it, these pins here will be the positive and negative and we're going to mount, uh, I'm going to mount the, uh, start with mounting the power uh, capacitors to those pins. Here's the uh, chip now with the power uh, the, the, the capacitors connected, the bypass capacitors. And notice too, we've got the uh, got the point one there, and also the other point one in over there. That's the positive. Mm, there's the negative right down there, and this yellow one I decided to use yellow. That's the uh, center tap for the main, you know, the common or the ground. Now the other pins are left to put the other supporting components. We'll do that next. This is the amp as it looks completed. Okay, got all the components mounted there. Kind of a mess, but anyway, that's what they look like. Uh, having all the components mounted on all the pins now. Uh, it's ready to test. I already tested this, we'll test it again. Um, so, first of all, we got power to it. So right now I'm gonna connect the, uh, the audio oscillator and uh, we'll look at it on uh, on a 4 ohm load. We have two resistors, two 8 ohm resistors in parallel and it's connected to the scope, which we'll have a pattern right now. So about ready. First of all I might on it to keep it cool because this thing does get quite warm. First thing I'm going to check is the power supplies. About 37 volts on the positive supply and on the negative. I guess the probe's on there. 35.8, about 36, about 36 volts. One kilohertz oscillator. And there it is at one kilohertz. At, you see that's 57.6 volts peak to peak in two four ohms. According to this calculator, got a 57 volts peak to peak assuming a sine wave, and if we go up and look at the wattage, RMS, well look at there, that's 101.5 watts RMS. And again, that's with 4 ohms. Now I'll disconnect the one resistor and we'll do it on 8 ohms. Assuming the same input has not been touched, everything's still the same. And again, we have, you can see, 57.6 Volts peak to peak, it's still the same. So, go back to the power calculator. Now we've uh, changed the uh, custom value to 8 ohms, and we look down here at the watts 51.82, almost 52 watts. And actually crank up the amp a little bit. I can get a little more power out of this with the same uh, rail power voltage. So, if I turn it up, now we've got. 66.4 volts peak to peak. So let's put that in the calculator and see what it comes up with. 66 volts peak to peak, 66.4, and if we go up to the watts, that's 68. Point, about 69 watts it's into 8 ohms. Plus and minus 37 volts. TDA 7294 indeed does make 100 watts RMS, better than 100 watts RMS, into 4 ohm. That's the TDA 7294.